Hi, in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to place openings and create walls and floors in a conceptual mass. So the first thing we need to do here is activate our site plan here. And then we have these predefined uh, sites. So the first thing we need to do is go in the site in your mass panel and select in place mass. And this will just, this, this message comes up and it says Vivid has enabled the show mask mode so that newly created masks will be visible. Let me just close that. We'll call this building one. We'll say okay. Now, we will select a pick line tool. And we'll have it locked. So let's just go and select each of these lines. And I think we have them all. And it's got to be a closed ground boundary and make sure there's no overlap. So let's check that in our 3D view. So there's our shape in our 3D view. So now um, we want to select this form we created. And then we go into our create forms. So let's go down to solid form. And there's our solid form that we created. So now let's go into our east elevation. And these are these levels are predefined. So you can create your own levels. These were just already here. So we'll use these since I have them, but you can just create your own levels. So uh, what I want to do now is I want to pull this guy up. So yeah, let's take this guy and stretch him all the way up to about here. Give it a little overlap for the parapet in there. Okay, now um, we have that done. So let's do finish. Okay, now let's go back into our 3D view and see what we have. So there's our building, and uh, we want to go back now and activate our site plan. And there's our building in our in our site. So all we do, all we need to do from this point is basically let's go back into 3D view. And we can select this object in our siding and massing. Let's create floors. So I can select this whole thing. Let me sorry. Select it. And let's say mass floors. So once we have it selected, we can tick each one of these boxes, and these will be our floors. And we'll say OK. So there are floors that are in our in our mass form. Now to create walls, let's just tap here. We're picking up the floors, so let's make sure we grab the wall. Well we can do this. We can no, I don't want to tap I'm sorry. Let's tap. this wall you select the wall command and tab to the wall now see what happened we created a wall here and that's because we had the generic basic wall but we can change this to any wall type you want so let's just say Let's just make it brick. And we'll 
we'll take this one and we have a brick wall here another brick wall we'll just go around and select these walls we can change these to any wall type we like it's this wall and this wall so now we have our our walls all selected so what we can do now is you can go down to say level one and let's go into our architecture tab and let's place a door here and say one here and then we can even place windows any type of window we like say one here let's go into our type selector let's make some big ones over here I guess so what happened is you can take the math swarm basically and change it into a regular model so I put all these windows here in level one And let's go up to level two. And the same thing. So let's have a look in our 3D view. So there you go. These are not lined up right, but uh, <laughs> they're pretty, pretty. That's basically how you do this. So. This is just a brief explanation. This is just briefly how you do uh, openings in a mass form. So, like I said, it's pretty simple. This is realistic. It's fairly simple. But what happens is you can take these mass forms and it can become a, a straight model. So, I have to go to level three. Same thing. It's place windows and doors, but anyway, uh, that's how you place openings and you convert a mass swarm into a regular model. So thank you for watching, uh, and I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Thanks again. Have a good one. If you enjoyed this video, like it or subscribe to it. It helps me out a lot. Bye.